right, for the first time in nearly eight years, a Bremerton assistant coach was back under the Friday Night Lights. It was Joe Kennedy's highly anticipated return to Bremerton Memorial Stadium. You may remember he lost his job back in 2015 after he refused to stop praying on the field. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling was at last night's game and has the latest on the assistant coach's first game back where he again briefly took a knee in prayer. Assistant coach Joe Kennedy was back in action tonight coaching from the sidelines. We talked to some fans this evening who said they came out tonight specifically to support him while we talked to others who said that they felt that this has been a distraction and they were excited for things to quiet down after tonight's game. With the return of Friday Night Lights in Bremerton, the players are back on the field and fans back in the stands to cheer on the Knights. For assistant coach Joe Kennedy, it was his first time back after a long legal battle. Where he once again, at the end of the game, took a knee in prayer. I would have turned all this over in a second just to stay as a coach. That's the only thing I've ever wanted. And that's what I asked for, and that's what I'm getting. Kennedy lost his job during a controversy over his public post-game prayers. The legal battle wound up before the U.S. Supreme Court, which held that his practice was protected by the Constitution. After fighting to be rehired, he got his wish. He and his wife live in Florida now, so he's been staying with a friend in Bremerton in order to hit the field again. I fought for the Constitution. It really means something to me, and I wanted to just stand up for my rights and every American. History's going to be made tonight with Coach Kennedy back on with Bremerton. I got goosebumps thinking of it. Tommy DeVore said he was part of the initial push of support for the coach, and for him, it's come full circle. They couldn't let him on the field to pray, and I was the one on the news, all over the news over the years, and I prayed for him when they told him he couldn't that night, and I decided to come here tonight and show him respect. And he asked Tommy if he would go ahead and pray instead. So Tommy prayed instead that night of Coach Kennedy. I saw on the news that Coach Kennedy was back, and I'm really excited about it. Clara Lampin also came out specifically to support Kennedy. It's been a long battle for him, and I'm really proud of him. The Freedom From Religion Foundation commissioned a billboard at 5th and Warner in Bremerton. The group issued a statement calling Kennedy's return a ploy and a publicity stunt. I want their concentration to be on the kids. Diana Herdman came out to watch her granddaughter cheer for the first time. She says she'll be happy when the hoopla over Kennedy's case dies down and things return to normal. I don't like the distraction. But other than that, you know, he he earned it, I guess, fair and square, and we'll see what happens. After Friday's game, Kennedy said he would be weighing his options and considering his future. Kennedy also told us he's written a book about his experiences, and a movie is also in the works. Reporting from Bremerton, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.